it's Pelle here and I know this is a kind of a weird angle, you know, to start the video, but I'm going to be uh, trying to upgrade my uh, lightning in my room today, so I'm uh, going to be showing you guys the result basically, because now the, you know, lightning in my room has been pretty terrible, and I got some advice from Tots by Gus, uh, just, I just call him Gus, but you know what I mean, who is another creator who makes tutorials, uh, specifically like music videos effects as well, so check him out. I'm going to be using one of his advice here, so, so I'm going to be trying to, you guys are pretty familiar with this kind of angle here, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, add more light into the room, basically. Uh, don't know the setup yet, but I'm gonna go buy some lightning. A new light to my room and then maybe we will see the result basically. So I went to the store and I bought these two here. So this is some like working construction light there. I have no clue how I'm gonna use that but uh, I'm gonna figure out some way I can uh, use it to you know light up my room even more. Here I have some RGB uh, LED uh, thing I can put to the wall. My idea is to put it like here in the corner. This looks pretty weird right now. I'm gonna have to test out, but we got a nice, we've got some nice LED thing here. I think it's gonna pop pretty nicely in the tutorial. So if any one of you guys, I mean, just the lightning right now is has to be terrible. Like I look like I don't even know. Like, I look like a shadow, you know. If any of you guys are good at lightning, just you know, feel feel free to just drop in the DM and just you know, give me some advice. Because as I said in the beginning, I'm uh, pretty terrible at uh, this, you know, videography stuff here. Wait, is this already charged? This one. Holy shit! Yeah, it was. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was literally a flashbang. Like, I'm not gonna be joking when I said that was literally a flashbang. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to make it dark in my room here and set everything up basically. I think the new new lighting is going to be pretty pretty good not gonna lie here. This is going to be pretty pretty nice. Looks um, I don't know if I can say cinematic so far but it, look, it looks a lot better than before so uh, I'm uh, pretty happy with the little upgrade here and just wanted to share that with you guys. A bit uh, you know background work I do for uh, the tutorials here and I hope you guys are going to be enjoying the tutorial as well. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the particle effect in After Effects. And this is a very very cool and unique particle effect you guys can be creating in After Effects. I made a tutorial on this effect a year ago. I think it was almost a year ago right now. And since then this kind of you know effect has been like blowing up, getting viral in a sense. Many people have been recreating tutorials on this like unique particle effects. Uh, using the you know CC ball action effect in After Effects, so I thought I had to show you guys how to create it again and make a whole new version of it, and uh, yeah, basically upgrade it from the last year. And if you guys don't know about my all of my bundle on my website, where I recently included a full course too, it includes all of the editing packs on my whole website, and now a course showing you guys how to use the editing packs as well. It's with no doubt the best deal I have on my website. So to check it out, there's going to be a link at the top of the description. Now let's start creating this particle effect. So here we are in After Effects and I've added the footage I'm going to be showcasing this effect on. I'm using FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same. So start off by cutting out your clip. So I thought this beginning clip here looks uh, clean and good so I'm going to be using this one here. And what I'm going to be starting off by doing is basically roll to brush out our footage and clip here. So I'm going to be roll to brushing out Lil Tekka. And if you guys don't know how to roll to brush, it's going to be a link to a tutorial down in the description. So when you have roll to brush, it's going to look something like this. A simple, clean roll to brush here. And what we're going to be doing now is basically duplicate this layer. So press Ctrl D. Now we got two copies of this. And then we can delete the roll to brush effect on the bottom layer here. I'm going to name this background. Now we're going to be starting creating the particle effect here. So for the roll to brush layer here, you can just add CC ball action. And this is going to be creating your footage into small balls. <laughs> Sounds weird to say, but uh, <laughs> it's gonna be creating these balls here, which you can edit like this, rotate it, and stuff like that. So here we can start to adjust the ball size, basically. So I'm gonna set it to uh, around 30 here. Then the grid spacing, we can set it to 3. And after that, we can start displacing these particles here. So you can go to the displace adjustment here, and then you can adjust the orbs like this. I'm gonna go something like this, a little bit outwards. And then you can uh, change the displace properties. So here we have brightness, we can do saturation. 
Stuff like that. Mess around a little bit to get some cool looks. Thought this one looked pretty, pretty cool, I can't lie. 650 here, stuff like that. And then after that, we can add Colorama to this. So now we get this coloring to our particles, which looks super, super cool. And I want the particles and colors here to match the background. So here in the background, we will just look a little bit. We have the uh, Jamaican flag. So I'm gonna try to get the colors matching here a little bit. So, so here we can set the use preset palette to RGB. So now we get three colors here. I'm gonna set this one to black, this one to uh, a little bit dark green, I would say, something like this. And then this one yellow. And then we can go to input phase. Here we can adjust the pace here. I'm gonna go with something like this here. This looks pretty, pretty nice. And then after that, we're going to be adding curves to increase the contrast here a little bit. The particles, make them a little bit brighter. Then the dark ones is gonna stay dark. So something like that. Then we can add deep glow to this. Make them pop a lot more. Decrease the exposure. I think 0.3. It's nice. Input, we can set that to 15 maybe. Something like that. Super, super cool particle effect right now. Uh, I'm going to be adding a flicker to this as well to make the glow, making it a little bit more interesting. Let's drag this up here. I'm gonna set it above the ball action. And here we're going to be seeing the particles moving a little bit more here. And here we can increase the color amplitude to 0.2. So now the actual particles is going to be moving a little bit more and we can increase the amplitude to 0.4 or 0.3 adjust a little bit to get the uh, right kind of movement for your uh, video here and this looks super super cool absolutely incredible effect here and now when you're satisfied with the effect we can change the blending mode to add here and one more thing you can do to make it pop a little bit more is to add vignette to the background layer here vignette we can increase the amount to 175 then the angle of view to 60 something like that this is gonna make it pop a lot more basically and then we can make an adjustment layer here we could add curves just a tiny contrast boost here and then hue and saturation and then just increase the saturation a little bit so maybe 20 to get the colors popping a lot more here i think this is going to be making a very interesting cool looking effect here and i think you guys can uh, yeah, really agree with that this looks absolutely incredible and if you guys want to amplify this look even more we can be using some y2k looks from my y2k fx pack which is a part of my all-in-one bundle and what you just need to do now is just making a Adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. Animation presets, user presets, Y2K effects. And here we can we can drag on a Y2K CRT. So drag on the Y2K Sapphire CRT. Just drag and drop. And with just a drag and drop, you guys get this insane Y2K effect here, which just amplifies the whole particle effect even more. Looks absolutely incredible in my opinion. And that's just one of the effects from the Y2K effects pack. So you can make a new adjustment layer here. And here we could go down to Y2K quality. We could drag on the Y2K low res glitch here. And it looks absolutely incredible. Really get this low quality Y2K glitchy kind of look here. With the RGB noise, looks super, super good. And it's going to be having this incredible look in motion here. Looks super, super cool. And as you guys can see, it really amplifies the whole y2k style here portal look looks super super cool in my opinion and i can show you guys one last effect here so make a new adjustment layer again and here we can go with a y2k half tone and we can add on y2k black and white rgb this one is a little bit bright so just add a another adjustment layer under add curves to it and just in decrease the brightness this is how my curves graph look here and just by dragging down the deep glow a little bit it was at 0.3 before now it's 0.1 and you will get this crazy look here like my god this looks good here this is literally yeah i don't even know what to say this is absolutely incredible effect here looks too good to be true almost like absolutely amazing absolutely amazing and that was just three effects from the y2k effects pack which is a part of my all-in-one bundle so to check it out it's going to be a link down below and it's also going to be a link to the all-in-one bundle with the newly added course as well. So you guys can easily go and check them out. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.